Hey guys, um, quick one. Just because some people or say the world can't see your value, does that mean that um, your value doesn't exist because other people can't see it? Or is it they can't see it for whatever reason, denial, not understanding, cognitive dissonance, all these things. Is it that? Or is it that perhaps there is no value there? Now, what am I referring to? To be clear, you're looking at it. Just because the world can't see the value I have to offer right now, and my God, the world can't see the value in the years to come, does that mean that my value as a human being doesn't exist? Now, I'm talking about my value specifically is in success. Just because other people can't see that I'm going to be successful, does that mean that my value is zero? No. Like, this is a perfect example because everybody around me is not on a path to success. They're not learning from others. They're not rising above the mediocre. They're not doing anything out of the ordinary. Marriage, kids, house, life, nine to five, weekends off. Because they're not rising above, they can't see the value in me. And that creates a problem, not for me, that creates a problem for them. Because if you can't see the value in someone rising up, you can't learn nothing from him, you think there's nothing, no value, nothing to learn from him, then you're going to stay down there. And that serves you the purpose of not having to put in the effort to rise up. Because if you start to recognise my value as a human being, no, my value as a successful man is going places, if you recognise my value in that, it would force you into a situation where you have to take a long, hard look at your mediocre life, your unhappy life, your not quite happy but not quite unhappy life. It take you to force you to take a good, long, hard look at that. And then it would force you to change or to know the truth through me and then stay like stay the same, which would be so hard that you would have to change. And the problem with change is it's fucking hard. So therefore people's minds automatically oh yes automatically switches off that Harry is uh, Harry has value based on the fact that he's going places, that I can learn from him, he's, he's going to be successful, he's come such a fucking long way, he's got so many good habits, if I hung out with him, I could learn all these things. If they knew that, if they, if they, maybe there's subconscious, some part of it knew it, but consciously or subconsciously, they're, they're in denial about it, or some people that aren't, some people just don't get it at all, so won't actually get it as well, so those are in denial, um, even though they can see sometimes that it comes out of me. But then there's others that are complete, um, don't get it, which is fair enough. But the point that I want to make, and I want to start from the beginning, is just because other people don't see the value in you as a human being, don't think that you don't have value in that area. I'm the perfect example, I told you. Just everyone around me is not, 99% of people around me are not on a journey of success. They're going to be financially normal, socially normal, dating normal, and happy normal. Whereas I'm going to be super happy, super wealthy, Super good dating, lots of women, super social, loads of quality, high value friends, all these kind of things. But they can't see it. But it doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. It doesn't mean that my value doesn't exist just because other people don't see that. Don't forget that. Your value is determined by you and you alone. Don't let society determine your value. You know where you've been, what you've been through, where you are now, where you're going. It's up to you. You can, you can, you can take horse to water, but you can't make it drink. You can take a, a, a human to, to, to water, but you can't make them think. Think about that for a second. You can take a human to water, but you can't make them think. You can't wake them up. Because waking them up requires looking at yourself honestly in the mirror of what you're not doing in your life and changing. And change is hard. I should know change is hard. i fucking changed my life since for six years now. And it's fucking hard. I can tell you that now. Sometimes I wish I wasn't this damaged. I'm not going to lie. I mean, I'm on low sleep and I'm a bit depressed now, but I still wish sometimes that I wasn't. But change is hard and it will cause all kinds of crazy shit. I just want to get that out. Peace.